Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing makeup collection. I was trying to reorganize and in the middle of decluttering, but I thought, you know what? It's never going to be perfect. I know most of us are like that. So might as well go ahead and share makeup collection. This is the same desk I've had for years. Found it at a garage sale and it has been worth it it does need to be repainted it does look dirty but it's just old we're gonna start with the top of the desk and i'm also going to link if you're curious about my nail stuff that video will be in the cards or in the description box a full what's on my vanity video will also be linked there as well so i have this file holder from the dollar tree and it just has random large palettes and other smaller palettes that i reach for less brushes, setting sprays, any kind of primers, um, new eyeliners or eyelashes that I'm currently using are housed here. I keep my cameras on the desk, powders, kabuki brushes, eyeshadow pencils, eyeliners, extra batteries. I also have this really cute container from the Dollar General and that also houses a bunch of different palettes like hard candy and um, the smoke in the mirrors. All my profusion palettes are there. I also have a, another file folder from the Dollar General and it has like Take Me to Brazil, the Jawbreaker palette, the Icy Fantasy palette, the Morphe basically on this here, so, some perfumes, and Wet n Wild palette. Dirty brushes, Q-tips, just random face mist, and a bunch of random jewelry stuff. I even keep some earrings that I wear frequently hanging on that jar there. Um, any kind of new makeup and stuff I get, I usually throw to the side. Know that I'm going to use it in tutorials coming up and this and that. And right now that's the Daisy Marquez palette. Here's all my Project Pan stuff, and that's it for the top of the desk. Moving on to the big drawer. I would consider uh, everyday kind of stuff. I have primers, all my primers, my color tattoos by Maybelline. There's some Physician's Formula and some lip balms over here. And all concealers and sponges that I alternate between eyelash glutes brush cleaner thing powders concealer palette my most used blush and contour kind of palette thing that's like my go-to reach for stuff and any foundations and loose powders I have for the most part are going to be in here all the foundations are I really don't own that many um, I'm picky when it comes to foundations so that's why I don't own no more than eight of them. I actually own seven foundations. So eyebrow stuff, um, eyeliner, pencils, things like that that I use on the regular. Mascaras I'm using through. Um, highlighters that I have that I use when palettes and stuff don't have highlighters. These are my go-to highlight shades. I have gel eyeliners, eyelash curlers, mascaras, eyeliners liquid eyeliners and lip balm backups i took them all out of the package just to save room but they're all new and they're all backups i have glitter glues glitter eyeliners and loose glitters and that's all for the main main drawer this is my everyday face drawer drawer here it's a little differently organized now from prior collection videos and once again, I just have a couple of my new eyeshadow palettes on top here. And then I have, looking down, you can see I have ColourPop, Balm, Beauty Glaze, some Revlon, my Urban Decay Naked palettes, NYX palettes, and any kind of loose kind of stuff. Like a lot of the loose eyeshadows I have are right here that I reach for a lot. I even have some Flower Beauty, some Wet n Wild left in there, Balm and Inglot, some Maybelline, Natasha Denona. Anything that's kind of small and that can get bashed around the drawer, they're there. Here's Believe Beauty, Wet n Wild palettes that I still currently reach for. There's some Ellie Colors, Profusion. 
Maybelline Nudes. And there's some positions formula. So I like how these are stored now. Less containers in there and I like it. And over here we have the um, L'Oreal and Maybelline. More Maybelline. There's some Broadway and Wet n Wild. All back here in the back. So that's how I keep that stuff stored. Second drawer. I would label this as the blush slash loose powder and highlighter drawer and tools so i have like eyebrow tools and stuff here i have some l'oreal stuff loose powders cover girl airspun airway studio hourglass maybelline backup i have to have a backup my fit me there um blush palettes those are my favorite to keep on hand i love those more than loose blushes the loose blushes i have are over here like AOA Studio and the Benefit Hervana blush. There's Tarte and Positions Formula. Of course, we have the Milani Famous blush and just some hard candy stuff. I mean, not a lot of single stuff. I like to keep that stuff small. Like I said, I prefer the palettes, which I have like LA Colors and this Next Glow palette balm we have some revlon we have some la colors cover girl palettes broadway back there um bully beauty all these beautiful la colors palettes those are so stunning wet and wild loose highlighters i love those um this flower beauty highlighting palette oh my goodness it's stunning wet and wild all kinds of different things in this drawer and I have downsized on my blush because I just realized that I use literally a combination of like a mob or a peachy or coral shade. So I did a huge declutter on blushes. Third drawer here. Mainly in this container here. All the containers you see were mainly from Dollar Tree unless specified. And this is just one of their like cotton ball containers. And it has matte lip stuff and mainly liquid lip products like Ellie Colors. There's Maybelline. There's all kinds of different brands. My Cherry Cherie one's in there. Um, Maybelline up in front here along with the Broadway True Matte Lipsticks. I have my Hard Candy All Matte Up um, lip crayons and stuff here. Wet and Wild. Honestly, those probably should be tossed, but they have not turned, and they are an excellent formula still. And then I have some random stuff. A lot of Rimmel, and there's some L'Oreal Hard Candy, and some just random stuff, basically, in this one. And uh, also, in regards to lip products, I've dramatically decreased my lip collection, even though this is still quite a bit. Uh, extra LA Colors lip oils, and I have lip removers, chapsticks, and a Spectrum Zombie lip gloss that I'm not willing to let go of. So this drawer is fairly empty. Underneath the desk is an absolute mess, but this is like backup wipes and Q-tips, lint rollers, things like that. Hair stuff, headbands, things like that, eyelashes, and that's nail supplies. There's a tripod there too. Now I have this like tower storage area over here. So the first one has brushes that I'm currently not using, extra batteries for my camera, and tripods, sponges, things like that. This one has no strips, lint rollers, um, Z palette stuff, some sinful colors things. This drawer here is LA Colors, there's some loose glitters, sinful colors. Now I've also really reduced my LA Colors collection, so it used to be much, much bigger. But I just, I don't need all of it. So I kept the stuff that I know that I'm going to continue to use. This is like a drawer not often reach for, but enough that I want to keep it around. I'm not done with it yet. And the last makeup drawer I have to share with you is another random one it has like makeup cases in it and there's my spectrum cosmetics and i have them in one of those really awesome dollar tree containers there's more spectrum cosmetics in here 
and then palettes that are old that are old shouldn't be used but i don't want to part with them so that's my urban decay alice in wonderland palette 120 palettes the 88 palettes i'm just not ready to let them go but i love the spectrum cosmetics and stuff but because they're loose pigments i don't reach for them as often as i should but that's the last makeup drawer but that is my entire makeup collection so i hope you guys enjoyed the collection video let me know in the comments below also if you see any palettes or other makeups that you'd like to see a tutorial on let me know i'll be happy to do that i hope that you enjoyed this i thank you so very much for watching stay tuned for more videos like this if you would like a singled out collection of say la colors hard candy profusion whatever it may be let me know and i'd be happy to do that for you as well so thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like the video comment subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already stay tuned for more videos check the description box if you haven't already and thank you very, so very much for watching.